Luke Ryakirk from Flying Pig Screen Printing and Noxtees.com here to give you a quick, easy, and efficient rundown on setting up a workspace and getting your colors correctly for screen printing artwork in Illustrator. Now I've got Illustrator CS6 here and I'm gonna quickly run through this simply because artwork should be quick, easy, and efficient for you if you know your product and if you know your Illustrator. So let's get started. Printing and proofing, have that guy selected. This is a pre-set up uh, thing that Adobe has done for you as a workspace. It's gonna set all these guys up here and get just about everything ready for your workspace. Yes, it's that simple, it's that easy. Printing and proofing, top right hand corner, get it clicked. Layers, swatches, color, and separations preview are gonna be the things you're gonna be using the most when you're altering or creating this artwork for screen printing, making sure that things are done correctly. Now, what do you not see on this whole workspace? Rulers, why? I don't know, but what I do know is that for some reason, a lot of people that I teach, a lot of shops that I work in, when they start out, they don't use rulers. So I'm going to give you a tip right now. Turn the rulers on. Okay? So go ahead and do that. Click View Rulers, Show Rulers. Why? So that you can give yourself a good a visual representation of where you're at and how big you're actually working in these things. I know it's a little elementary, but it's little things like this that are going to really help you out and make you a better artist on this side for getting things done quickly, easily, and efficiently to get to the press. So, artwork and our workspace is all set up, but we got to make sure our colors are correct. What do I mean by that? Everything on here needs to be what's called a spot color. How do I know what spot colors are? Well, look over here at the color swatch. Everything up here that's just a regular um, square is going to be a process color which means that it's used with CMYK or RGB and you look over it and it says CMYK and it shows you what it is. Now, if you look over here, anything that has this little triangle and a kind of black dot on it is going to be a spot color and it'll actually name that spot color to you. Okay. We need to have those so that whenever we use our separations preview, it'll show us just what this tan is going to look like when I go to print it, just what the black is going to look like when I go to print it, and just what the gray is going to look like when I print it. So what if you get this really cool piece of artwork from an artist or your customer and everything looks great, it's already vector, so you're saving yourself lots of time right now, but the, art, the, uh, the color is not set up correctly. Well, I'm going to actually show you how to fix that right now. So as we went through here, we didn't see a red in here, right? The red pops up when I hit CMYK. So that tells me, as a quick troubleshooting idea, that it is actually going to be a processed color. So I'm going to take my direct select tool and I'm going to click something that's red. Now I want to change it to a spot color, but I don't want to have to physically go through and click all of these right here. Instead, I'm going to use a quick trick. So uh, simply click select, scroll down to same, and click fill color. Now that's going to select everything else on here that is that actual red. And then I can come over here to my new swatch, name it red one. And I'm going to change it from a process to a spot color. And now you're going to see that this red is created with this little triangle and a red or a black dot. Now I like to have all my swatches right next to each other because it's really quick and easy. And again, it's the little things that count and make life nice and easy. So we're gonna go ahead and go on to the overprint preview. Now we see that we actually have a red. So I can unclick everything and see that this is what my red is gonna look like. I can see what my gray is gonna look like, my black, my tan, and then finally the whole print whenever it's done. So here you go. You've got your workspace set up. You've got your artwork created. Everything's ready to go. Print your films out and get to the press. Start making some t-shirts. So let's go over this really quick one more time. Number one, printing and proofing. Get it set up. Just simply click it and make sure that that's the one that's selected. Two, rulers. Turn them on. Please use them. It's really going to help you a lot as you get into doing this more. And it's going to help you create things more efficiently and quickly. Lastly, Make sure that all your colors are spot colors. And if you go through and you see these four different colors here, but we only have a couple of them on here, and instead of having all four, that's how we know that we can get into a little bit of trouble, okay? So, spot colors, making sure your workspace is correct, using those rulers, quick little things that's gonna help you out quite a bit. Make sure and tune back. I've got a lot more other videos coming out here going way more in detail than this one, but I just wanted to quickly run over a couple of things that I run into quite a lot when I do work with these shops. Have a great day, and as always, from me, Flying Pig Screen Printing, and Noxtees.com, keep the ink flying.